lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. Till the date for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's easy folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the Cyclone. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Goodbye to your phone. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. A big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Man 
lands a big right hand early. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Couple of chins here being tested early. Plus right hand is true. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. It's a nice back and forth action here. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jabs. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. being landed on both sides here. And they separate. Nice. Nice hook lands. Get right here. The right hand just misses. Right hand right there. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. He's got the single collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Straight right hand, no good. Right hand is on point. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Punch is blocked. Beautiful strike. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Right on the button. Right hook attempt, but it's no good. Final seconds. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with his leg kick. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there and I want you to... All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. you got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that ball or get finished. And that's exactly 
what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, nice jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive through Order a combination, take the soda with your food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Blocks the strike. Jab there by Choi. Leg Back and forth we go. This is it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. He landed a big knee to the body. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Try to establish that jab. How good is that right hand? All right, leading with the power shot there. Nice right hand. His best punch landed first. That one snuck in. Right. Oh, strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Just missed with the leg kick. Shot is blocked there by Choi. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big punch land. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Whip his hip into that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he keeps going back to the. Sort of turtle up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. And he's back up. Punch coming, it's blocked. Final seconds here of round number two. You gotta check these low leg kicks. All right, round three coming up next. Look at him on the stool. He's still wild.
problem. This round, I want you to put the pressure on. Get right in the space. <laughs> I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's that's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best pitiful fighters in the UFC. Great effect. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Right hand upstairs. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, nice counter jab there. Big leg kick land. Able to land a combination there. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high ball, you can lose. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did. Not recognize it. Gosh, and now he's got him hurt bad. Right hand upstairs. Another one. Just misses with that big right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much off. Oh. To throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moment. Go finish his fight. He got him back. And really starting to make these shots count. Got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Got clip with the right hand. Campbell inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and... Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and still.
All right, so there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world and certainly getting the title defended with style points here tonight. He's your winner by knockout. He's just a great fighter. He does everything the right way, lands a beautiful shot to end the fight, keeps his belt. You can 